Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Diablo 3. In the past we uh, picked up this compass rose and I've had it sat in my inventory and I completely forgot we were supposed to be trying to roll a socket into it. Uh, so we're going to start off by popping up to Miriam and seeing if we can do that because we've got enough gems and things and hopefully it won't take long for us to actually get that. Uh, in the last episode we completed six minutes to save the world so we've only got uh, a little bit of gemming up to do before we can actually complete the uh, destroyer part of the season jet. Come on, give this to me. It's not being very nice. This is not going well. It should not be this difficult to get a socket. There we go, sockets one. So we lose a little bit of toughness. I'm not worried about toughness, but gaining 5% damage is actually quite significant. So Shen, if we could have that out. And I'll swap them over. And we're going to keep this one. Uh, so we've got spare. Uh, we lose a little bit of recovery as well because, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, the recovery is probably more based on the movement speed, but the movement speed is a pointless stat for us um, because we've already got our Paragon points doing that for us. Uh, let's bring this across. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep it there. We'll keep it there as a spare. Okay, uh, so we're doing great rift runs uh, at level 65. We do have enough money to empower this. Uh, so, yeah, it should only take fingers crossed two runs uh, to complete this so let's see how we do straight on in with the ass whooping oh geez yeah all right let's let's try and be a bit more careful about the potential damage we're going to take from everything. Pop Serenity. Yeah, these guys are quite nasty. They hit quite hard. They explode. They're, they're bad news is what they are. And they're all molten. They're all molten. It's not just some of them. And in on you guys. Thank you. Right. Not a terrible start to the rift, but uh, certainly not a particularly fast start. We'll be able to get it back though, don't worry. It's the time like this I have a, a worry as to whether I actually put on all my um, survival gear again or whether I'm still set up to uh, to do the speed run. I do remember re-equipping it though at the armory. But it's that that tiny moment of panic when you go, oh, oh, did I? And it sits in your head. I mean you can see that I did, but uh, yeah. Trust yourself, people. Trust yourself. Your memories are not lying to you. Probably. I mean, unless like you've actually got a memory problem and then maybe they are. Who am I to judge? My memory's terrible. I keep um, a digital notepad near me in case there's anything important that I need to remember because otherwise I will just forget it. And it could be little things like uh, recommendations of, uh, of things to watch on TV that someone's given me or it can be something important like Dad's birthday is coming up. Let's 
let's get a nice group together. It's not going to be the fastest run, but if it works, shield pylon. All right. Let's get right in the middle of all the trouble then. Good amounts of damage, good amounts of killing. These are all excellent things. We would be able to like face tank all of this anyway, so the shield pylon is nice, but it's not ultimately necessary. It's half gone. Illusionist, that's why there's so many things appearing. Okay. Gained a little bit of time on that. Not a huge amount, but it all adds up across the course of the rift. Now when we're um, leveling up uh, the Boon of the Horde are later. Uh, we've got a couple of options for what we can do. We can speed run through lower rifts, but we won't get much experience. Uh, and, you know, it's a, potentially an opportunity for us to run higher rift levels while doing it. It's just it'll take us longer to do. Um, what I'll probably do is I'll probably wait to see precisely what the next stage of the season journey wants us to do and uh, plan based around that. But yeah, when I uh, when I started at the beginning of the last episode, we were on level 509, and we're already up to 517. So running at 65 is good for our leveling. Speed pylon, extra speed for me, extra speed. All my allies. And the ability to run through mobs, which is always fun. Right, let's get in on these. Ah, Avengers. I pop my Serenity just because they can hit really hard. Okay, we're losing our speed in a moment. Could have used it to just run on and find interesting packs, but they're easy enough to, to come across. And I don't like bypassing large amounts of content. Nightmarish is a pain. Look at that. Everything just ends up running away. And the fire chains. Oh my god, the fire chains. Just, just kill it. Thank you. I would say kill it with fire, but really it's killing it with water. Although there is fire allies in there, isn't there? So I suppose it's 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 killing it with everything. Yeah, this is going well for the time at the moment. Now, I wonder if there's something on the other side of that door. I suspect there probably is. Oh look, it's some flying bugs. Who would have guessed? Ooh, do you see that power pylon down there?
Because I most certainly do. Alright, let's push on while we've got the power pylon. Try and take advantage of it with a nice big pack. Shielding and Nightmarish is a, is a horrible combination as well. Waller, it's annoying, but in this situation, it's it's not the most annoying thing that they've got on them. Oh my god, <laughs> he says that that immediately gets backed into a corner. This is quite nice. Quite a decent density of mobs. All that kind of purpley stuff that's going off in the middle does make it a bit harder to see what's going on, but uh, generally it's okay. Now these are nightmarish. There's a lot of nightmarish stuff in today's rifts. That's what I'm noticing. Uh, these guys are also molten, so I've got to watch out for that. Yeah, we've definitely got enough time to do this. I remember when 65s, we just didn't have the, uh, the killing ability to get through them quickly enough. But even something like uh, that, that ring swapping it over, 5% damage increase is very significant. Whereas a 2% life decrease isn't. Well, as you know, it was more like 3%. But it doesn't affect our playstyle very much because we're still cautious and we're still scared of everything. Oh, and I just want to get... There we go. Just one more thing killed. <laughs> Taking significant damage, that's good. Nearly time to activate the allies again. Although they're going around all over the place. Three minutes, seven seconds left. Alright, let's grab all these bits and bobs up. And we'll go straight for the Gogok of Swiftness. Four out of five is not bad. We only need two more and this part of the season journey is done. Okay, we'll hand this in with Auric. And actually, before we head up the other way, let's ask for boots from Kadala. Mm, no. Nice try, but no. Uh, we'll put these four levels in. Oh, we're only getting four levels now. Is a bit of a change. Okay, uh, what did we get? Uh, no. Uh, no. Mm, no. Mm, definitely no. No. Double no. Yeah, all this can just get salvaged up. Very unimpressed. They're all just extra forgotten souls. 
Okay, and straight back in with another one. That's the only bit of logistics that we really needed to do. Uh, we won't empower it, but let's uh, let's put it up to 66 just so we can push the envelope a bit. Now this might be a mistake, but we won't know until we're in the middle of everything and it's all dangerous and, and hellish. That's kind of the nature of the game, isn't it? Now I popped my Serenity there because that Molten on the ground, very, very painful. But we have had an amazing start to this rift, I have to say. I popped Serenity. Just while we back away from all this, all the danger. Yeah, jumping straight into the middle of everything was good for the time. Not great for the survivability. Let's uh, push on down here. I want something more interesting to fight. Oh, like you guys. So hard to tell whether the health shoots down because they're an illusion or because the convention of elements has ticked around and we're doing extra damage or it's like what why are you dying so quickly are you the right one am i supposed to be fighting you or are you just an illusion and i'm gonna get no benefit other than just getting you off my screen let's have a look down there's normally good packs down in the pits. Looks like we've got some doggos, that's awesome. Electrified illusionist fast doggos. We seem to be doing a lot of damage in this rift at the moment. Maybe everything's just like perfectly working for us. Or maybe um, rifts have slight modifiers that you don't see to like monster health and monster damage. So it could be this one. They do more damage but they have less health and so we get more progress through stuff. I think that's really what I'm noticing. I'm not noticing that we're killing things super quickly, but our progress level is very high. And also I did notice the damage they were doing right at the start, but we did up the difficulty. Right, let's not stand directly in the middle of that. fast we're doing with our progress. It is a crazy fast rift. Okay, well that doesn't actually go anywhere, so let's back out. I'm not playing as efficiently uh, as I could 
as far as my abilities go. Uh, you may notice I'm not always popping the Mandra, I'm not always uh, keeping up with Dashing Strike, etc, etc. I'm okay with that, I don't think you need to play perfectly, you just need to play well enough. And, uh, well, yeah, this is uh, certainly going well enough. Ah, wrong, wrong direction. What a waste of the conduit. Now the dangers of the uh, the conduit at this level are all the damage mitigation that I have comes from attacking. So if we're not attacking, we don't get that damage mitigation. Which is very dangerous, of course. I mean, you wouldn't want to, to walk in all of a sudden taking about ten times more damage than you should otherwise. Awesome. Yes, we have. We have laid low on that powerful enemy. And we're going to lay low a whole bunch of others. Nice big chunks of progress. For, yeah, the, the mobs are definitely giving a lot more progress than I would expect for the effort that we're putting into killing them. And that must just be down to the RNG when it generated the rift. I can't think of any other reason for it. Also, uh, interesting thing, I don't know if you guys uh, saw the announcement for the future of Diablo and that there's multiple Diablo projects in the works at the moment. Very, very, very interesting. I, I'm hoping it's not just porting to other platforms. But uh, I've always been a fan of the Diablo series as a whole, starting right back with Diablo 1. Ooh, okay, we need to be a little bit more careful. Now I do have time for us to back away. Get this guy killed if we can. Popping my serenity because I don't want to get caught by any of those frozen bits. Now that he's dead though, frozen's not a problem. Okay, well, we can push forwards a little bit, but I still want to be super, super cautious until my extra life is back. Uh, but yeah, multiple uh, Diablo projects in the works. Some are going to take longer than others. I'm not going to speculate over what they might be, but uh, what I would like to see is um, potentially a re-imaging of uh, the older games in the current engine. With the uh, Darkening of Tristram event that they did, uh, it showed that you know, it's, it's totally possible for them to recreate the feel and theme of a game. And I thought that was a, a really, really cool thing. And I, I would totally play Diablo 2 again. Maybe not Diablo 1. I think Diablo 1 is, uh, is a little bit tired now. But... Uh, yeah, there was there was a lot of fun in the earlier games, and I think that they could definitely, with a with a facelift, re-enter uh, re my um, cycle of uh, of games that I pick up and put down. Okay, binder.
Pathfinder is not very dangerous. 5 minutes 14 seconds remaining. That is a huge amount. Okay, let's grab all these bits up. And we will do, hopefully, the last two bits. Come on. Come on. Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> uh, well, that'll teach me, won't it? That'll teach me. Okay. We'll hand this in. And then we're going to jump straight in for another one. Uh, I'll put these points in. We're not even going to ID the stuff that we've got. We can do that next time. But what a palaver. All right. I even put the difficulty up to 66. And we're going to have to be quick because we don't have a huge amount of time left for this episode. But I don't see any problem with this being quick in this. The last one was a pretty quick one and I think this will be similar. Although that always depends on the mobs that you're fighting. Well, that was um, an interesting combination. Gained a level, nearly exploded. Not the fastest start to a rift, but uh, certainly not the worst either. I don't like mobs that um, reduce the areas that I can I can be within. Yeah, you know, whether it's uh, area denial or um, nightmarish to actually move me around. I very much dislike when that happens to me. Taking full advantage of that channeling column while we had it. You've only just noticed that enemy over there that we've been fighting for a little bit. Good job, Enchantress. Good job. Now let's get the other one. There we go. getting decent uh, decent blue packs in this. Uh, a decent density of them anyway. Illusion is not back arcane enchanted mods and that could be potentially painful if they get all their arcanes out together, which inevitably they do. always just move on a little bit further and encourage them to uh, to come on down with us. Right, that's one of them actually gone. Come on, just let me in here. Are you real? I think this one's real. There we go. Lots of area denial in those guys. We ended up losing, well, not losing a bit of time, but we we didn't end up really, uh, really well off at the end of it. And 
this bat is also taking a bit more time than I would like to kill. Still, nearly done. There we go. Let's grab all of these. The orbs aren't actually doing as much as the last time either. That's an interesting thing to notice. I wonder if that means this uh, rift would be better off if we uh, did um, just trash mob killing. I mean, I'm always up for trash mob killing. It's uh, totally a way we could do it, but uh, I think... Overall, we're sort of struggling a little bit on time. It is not quite going as happily as I would uh, like. Oh my god. And, right, frozen pulse and frozen. Not great. More area denial. That time I just popped my serenity to ignore it. But we can't do that if it's not a cooldown. Right. Killed him. I think we're just going to push on to the next bit. I wanted to check, make sure that there wasn't an exit down that way. I think it is up this way somewhere. So that reconnects over there. Speed parlor. Awesome. Let's find something interesting to fight. You. You'll do. Can't see the explosions under the water. That's not great. So we'll just have to assume that the floor is lava. Might as well get him killed because we put the effort into him. Kill these lightning dudes as well because they are all annoying. 527. Lots of good leveling going on. And all we need is just one gem level. One gem level. And then we don't have to worry about this. I mean, I do still want to push on to 75 at some point if there's time this season. All, it always comes down to how much time there is. Within the season, there's a lot of time, but there's not necessarily a lot of gaming time. What with having full-time employment and uh, having to adult occasionally. Awesome. Let's get in on knockback wall uh, desecrator. That's not too bad. Shielding is going to be annoying. But it's not like they're frozen or anything.
Right. Another group gone. This is going to be very tight on the time. All we can do is just keep pushing forwards, though. And hope we don't screw something up majorly. Or, you know, end up in a, a terrible, terrible part of the rift with nothing to kill. That would also suck. Well, that takes away the worry about dying. Now we just need to focus on killing everything. Okay, another activation of the allies. Yeah, good density. Still got about half of the shield left. I'm hoping that this uh, cluster is going to be enough. Or close enough for us to get the Guardian out. Not quite, but we're up to 95%. These ones should do it. Avenger Electrified Wall of Molten. Oh, that wasn't enough. Oh my word. Is there anything left? Right, yeah. That was a big surprise. Okay, now the choker is occasionally worrying. We have to watch out for the... Uh, large poison especially when it's all underground or under the water I should say and we can't see it but choker is gone two minutes four seconds that was that was certainly more of a struggle we'll grab all these bits up and once again Season journey destroyer complete. Okay, well, we may as well try and push these up, seeing as we are at the uh, the upper end. Uh, let's go for trapped first. Then esoteric. That's not too bad. I think that went quite well. We'll hand this in, and then we'll ID our stuff. Um, but I am going to have to finish this episode because we have gone quite a bit over our normal normal time. Uh, thank you very much for watching, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. Uh, as always, I'm having a wonderful time. Uh, we're going to uh, start off the next episode by having a look through and seeing uh, what we have in the next step of the season journey. I do hope you'll join me for that. If you are liking these videos, be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't... So Hello...
I put the Obsidian Ring of the Zodiac in the cube. I can wear the Convention of Elements. We'll lose a little bit of increased damage, but we'll, mm. Anyway, that, that's going to be something for me to uh, theory craft off camera. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you should do so, and you'll be told when the episodes go live in the future. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Diablo 3. See you soon.